And with a special guest as well, Kelly Collins Allred. How are you? Good. How are you? So why we why we bring in Kelly Collins Allred, or we'll just call you Kelly from here on out? Is that, that is that all right? That so good. much Perfect. easier on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kelly's a membership director out at Santa Luz at the uh, at the club, and um, I want to share a little bit about uh, my experience with my family out there, and uh, it's a big part of our our social lives. And uh, doors, live, work, and play. Live, work, and play. It's a lot of fun things happen out there. Golf. We're going to talk golf. Yes. What a what a nice thing to talk about here on the show on a Saturday morning, right? Definitely. Yeah. So I'm going to have you uh, watch a video with me. A big report came out in Housing Starts this week. I'd love to get your comments on that. We also got an email question as we want to continue to encourage people to to uh, go online and reach out to us. And then let's dive into some of the cool things happening at Santa Luz. So Sounds if we great. could take a look at this uh, big report that came out this week. This is a tricky number because it combines both single-family housing starts and multi-family apartments like this one going in 260 units in northwest Washington, D.C. So let's break it down, shall we? First, single-family starts were up 8.3% in July from June and up 10% from a year ago. Multi-family, again, mostly those apartment rentals, up 33% month to month, up 50% from a year ago. Where? Well, the big construction jump was in the northeast, also in the south. The Midwest did take a hit. The West is seeing a jump because there's so little supply on the market there of existing homes. But construction is really booming most in markets where most of the... So new housing starts, new building permits. You just heard her talk about inventory. That's been a big issue that we've had. How's it been in, in North County? It's been good. I mean, we still see a lot of uh, sticks going in the ground. Standard Pacific has a large amount of uh, land out there that they're, they're putting uh, new model homes up and still going gangbusters with new developments. Good, so, so new developments are good. They're good. In inventory opening up. If you're a buyer right now and you're trying to find a, a good home, is it, you gotta make an offer on something that you haven't even seen or is it a little bit more time now? A little bit more time. So yeah, we're, we're seeing uh, the opportunity. We have more inventory, more choices, a uh, little bit longer period of time to, to think about it unless it's the best house on the, uh, on the block. In that case, you're gonna still get multiple offers, but. Uh, Got it. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look at an email question that we got from the week. Okay. Craig, seems like real estate prices are flattening. Are you concerned that prices might drop? Johnny out of North County. You know, it's funny, but Tim, we, we talked about this specifically on Wednesday on the, on the radio show. Right. Uh, what, do, what do you think? I mean, are prices, are they going to correct even if a little bit, or, or where do you think they go from here? Yeah, well, I think uh, in any market recovery, we came out of a, the Great Recession, so we're not going to be you know, rocket to the moon in terms of recovery. We are going to hit plateaus and there is the uh, chance that prices can dip a bit as inventory increases, rates increase, and the pool of buyers that are in the marketplace uh, is depleted somewhat at this point with what we've seen in terms of run-up since 2011. Yeah, I mentioned this a little bit earlier. I think that the way that financing is right now where you can't fog a mirror and get a loan like you could in 2006. Yep. It, it means it, it's a more sustainable growth. You have very qualified buyers. So I, I think it's a pretty healthy market. I don't like to see 20% appreciation. No. I mean, it's nice at first, but look, it's got it's to come into something a little bit more normal. Uh, so hopefully that, that helped you there, Johnny. Now, uh, let's talk about the fun stuff. Let's talk about the, the <laughs> social scene, some of the things happening with the Santa Luz uh, Club. You yeah. you really wanted to dive into this. This is one of your favorite parts of town. You work, live, and play up there. You have a, yeah. you've been in real estate for 19 years, and this to you is something that's really important. To what's happening up there? Yeah, well, I How think uh, you know we our business is a stressful business, and you have to find ways that you can uh, unwind and be with family and uh, enjoy enjoy life and what you're working for. And uh, Christine and I moved into 4S Ranch in uh, December of 2002. And we noticed this gated community development being uh, built right around the corner. And so that's could, when the project was built, 2002? 2002. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Right. And uh, we could see peaks of a golf course that was kind of intertwined amongst the houses that they were developing. And um, you know, it took a few years. I was always jonesing to get out and play the course, <laughs> being an avid golfer. And uh, you know, eventually I had an opportunity where um, Christine was working for William Lyon Homes, where she was for 10 years as a new home sales uh, salesperson. And they had me, I developed and managed a contingent home sale program. And there was a homeowner in Santa Luz, now a good friend of mine, Charlie Spindle, and he was looking at a house in Del Sur. So they had me go over and interview with him, and not only did he offer me the listing on his house, he invited me out to play the course for my first time, and uh, I was a member guest partner for a year or two with him, and then we decided, uh, given the, how welcoming the people were, how friendly, how non-pretentious the club was, and really what it had to offer, that it was a good thing for us to Kelly, you're uh, look the, into. the director of membership, correct? Yes. Here's some things about the uh, the, the club here, Santa Luz. Tell us what we're looking at. 
Um, well, this is actually the community. Um, we are a gated community, 3,800 acres. Mm -hmm. um, inside the gates, um, there are 836 homes. Okay. And out of the 836 homes is 308 custom homes. Hmm. Um, we get the majority of our membership from inside the gates, but we do get 25% of our membership that comes from outside the gates. And we got some membership highlights here if anyone wants to get more information on it. So. Please continue. Yeah, so we do have three levels of memberships. We have a Hacienda level, which is really just the pool, tennis, and fitness. We have the spa and clubhouse membership, which includes everything but the golf. So we have a beautiful dining facilities, top-notch spa with seven private treatment rooms. We do massages, facials, body treatments, manicure, pedicures, beautiful relaxation pools, lots of inside and outdoor showers. Um, that's our pool um, at the uh, Hacienda level. Um, besides the uh, spa membership, we have the top level, which is the golf, and that includes everything. So you get full use of the club, lots of social activities. We do Wine Wednesday every Wednesday, which we have complimentary wine tasting. We do live music every Friday night at the clubhouse. We have sushi night, comedy night. Um, there's a number of activities. We do literary How, how long have you been the director of membership? Eight years. Can you know she know, can you tell she knows a little yeah. bit about it? Yeah, it comes I easy. It. The I thing know. I picked up on is, you know, you mentioned how you and your wife go there. I just heard her list off about ten things for, for the wifey. For for us yeah. it's simple. It's yeah. got golf. You got golf. But that was the thing that enticed me. It's not just me vanishing from the family to uh, right. to go play golf. My my kids can go to the pool. They they spent time in camp this summer. Uh, Christine can take folks to the you know, girlfriends to the spa. So we can all. It's a, it's How's a, the course? course Let's is talk golf. Beautiful. Yeah, course is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. We have a uh, 18 holes Reese, home, Reese Jones design course. You mentioned there's um, homes on the course. Beautiful. See, I don't know if I can play there then. No, yeah. it's a well, dangerous situation. They're, they're far enough away that. Got it. And yeah. Yeah, the practice facility is very extensive, um, probably one of the largest in Southern California. Now, now Tim, yes. you, you specialize in real estate, been doing it 19 years, very well recognized in the North County area. When, when you are, you help people buy and sell in there and, and outside as well. Mm -hmm. what, what do these things do for real estate? I mean, I'm sure it helps, but to, to what degree? What are real estate prices doing in these little communities? Are they, are they different than outside of those communities? Yeah, well, I think one of the great things about, I, I've always uh, sought out master plan developments that have a diverse uh, floor plan and product. You know, this we have everything from a 2,200 square foot casita to a 21,000 square foot mansion on the 17th hole. And um, so we really have something for everybody. And, um, you know, it helps address all different types of life. We've got people, empty nesters, baby boom generation moving into casitas and uh, sentinels that are smaller homes. We have folks that are, you know, rising business stars and influential people in the community that are purchasing larger homes for their family or uh, as investments in there. So we, we're seeing a, a good trend. A lot of sticks in the ground there, uh, custom builds. Yeah. So um, it's, well, it's real busy. It's always tough to get me above the eight. Right, but but I, I'd love to come out there and play play around That'd with you. Great. I understand that that Kelly has a giveaway for, for our audience. Something we're yes. about. Tell us about the giveaway. Yes, um, actually, Tim Scoglin is going to be escorting um, three lucky winners to play around at Santa Luz, have lunch, and then followed by dinner at the clubhouse. So. What I'd like to do is, um, I, I think we're gonna, they're gonna email me directly at uh, kcollins at the Santa Luz Club. Com. Okay, or if, if you see your screen, you go to our website, they can connect with me, and we'll make yeah, sure we, we compile all the information for you. Sounds should great. should definitely men have you on the radio show and mention this as well. I, I know that we got some golfers that tune in uh, every night, so that's a great, great giveaway. It's awesome what's going on up there. I obviously haven't been there, but I'd love to come check it out. Yeah. It's it's just another reason that, that San Diego is the greatest city on the planet, yep. right? I mean, yeah. there's yeah. so many cool things going on, and yet here today, uh, I just learned something new, and I'm sure our audience did as well. Yep, good. Yeah, one of the things I did want to mention, too, is there's a lot of clubs in the area in Southern California. And, you know, Tim and I discussed this earlier, and, and I said, Tim, you know, 
we have a beautiful golf course, we have a beautiful club, we have wonderful amenities, but really what sets us apart from any club in San Diego is the membership. It's just a great group of members and everybody's very active, very social, um, it's non-pretentious, it's just very comfortable. And you'll see when you come out to play yeah, the course love it. and yep. experience the club. Well, well, let's take a look. If anyone wants to visit you guys online, I believe it's Santa Luz. Dot com or is it SantaLuzClub.com? Uh, SantaLuz.com. Okay, SantaLuz.com. So here's all the information about what they have going on there. Of course, you can also learn about the real estate market by connecting with Tim Scoglin, ScoglinRealEstate.com. Thank you for coming in here. Yeah. Awesome information, yeah. and I hope people go and check you out. I know that I certainly will when we, when we find some time yeah, to, get, luck. to get, get out there. Just <laughs> let, let, let all the homeowners know. Yeah, that, that I'm coming okay. to play golf, well. especially the ones on the right side of the course. Okay. Ones on left are probably very safe.